Hello there, I'm the Star Wars guy, and I have been asked so many times to do what I'm doing for you right now. It's Grand Arena Championships time. We're here looking at my main account. Uh, Corin Organis is the name. And uh, let's dive in. I'm not sure how long this video is going to take. I did take a real quick look at my opponent's defenses. And uh, it didn't look like anything spectacular, but I wanted to talk about that uh, in a second. First of all, I'm in Division 2. Obviously not ranked very high. I just entered Division 2. I just hit uh, 4 million GP. So I just hit it. So there I got some stuff I'm working on. All right, let's dive in here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was talk through my defenses and what, why I placed it and, and where I placed it and that kind of stuff. So first of all, the disclaimer, I don't have an extremely deep roster. So uh, my defenses tend to be pretty weak, uh, definitely for division two. And um, that's just how it is. So I, I'm working with what I have. So let's take a look over here first at this, uh, at this territory here. So I have a nice resistance team, nothing crazy. Phoenix team, nothing crazy. And then uh, kind of been working on the Old Republic way in the background of some other stuff. So got them to the point of being at least a little bit viable. I think a Zato and Karth uh, and then getting Zalbar up a bit more would, uh, as well as Karth obviously start up, would help that team be a little more, little more defensive. That's all good. So let's take a look at the fleet back here. I have Thrawn, who's my second best capital ship. And it won't let me show you the whole fleet, but it's basically just leftovers. Uh, so my main fleet I run is Malevolence. And this is the strongest ships I have that aren't in that fleet. So that's how I think about that. It's not a not a bunch of um, thought going into that. Okay, now this is where it gets fun over here on this side. I set some defenses. Uh, I have the Murder Bears and I have just uh, the old Wigs team. If you guys remember that, if you've been playing for a long time with Wedge and Biggs. Uh, again, nothing crazy there. The Ewoks can be tricky. Uh, most people wipe them in one in one go because if you have an Infus Nest, you can take them out pretty much by by herself. So that's not really scary, although the, the gear 12 thing can maybe look a little scary if you're not used to it. But Ewok's not a hard team, but I'm trying to lure them into using some stuff because when you get back here, I have uh, my gas team and my bounty hunter. So that relic boss, even though he's only relic one, is uh, is tricky. I've seen several people stumble on him. You, you see one, you know, two, three battles on him and the gas. This is my first time running him. Last time uh, we did this, this is the first round of the of the new uh I don't know, sessions, whatever you call it. This is the first round of that. So this is the first time my Relic 7 gas has seen uh, fighting. The last time we did this, it, uh, he was gear 12. So uh, he got wiped off pretty easy. Now, Relic 7, I think he has the potential to have some holds, but here's the problem. You can see my clones are nothing to write home about. Uh, they need a lot of work, and that's something I'm working on right now. But wanted to go ahead and get gas up. Now, he, if you know anything about the gas team, he taunts the whole time until you get his protection down to zero. You cannot touch those other clone troopers. So... My thinking is um, that's going to really trip people up. I'm hoping they burn some teams up here, not realizing that I'm hiding some stuff back here that could give them trouble. Now, that strategy that I'm using, I'm pretty sure is exactly what my opponent's using. Let's take a look here. None of their teams look hard at all. A, a 79,000 Phoenix team, that's that's the hardest one I see here, and, and that's not hard at all. We're going to wipe the Rogue one out. We're going to wipe the clones out. It's going to be really fun. Over here... The resistance team really know better than mine and then they just have the relic kylo my first order well we'll see we'll see now what that tells me is since that front line's pretty weak is uh they're probably hiding something back here so i don't want to burn my best teams up front if i can help it and their fleet i usually don't lose the fleet matches because malevolence is, is so awesome that it doesn't really give me trouble unless they put a negotiator on defense uh, you can, and you can even win those. It's just more of a toss up, but most of the time we can, we can wipe them out pretty good. All right. So let's get in here. Let's get some strategy going. The, the, what I like to do is take out the hardest team first. So that's going to be this first order team. Now, what can we use? Here's the offense I have to work with. So I, I placed all my defense. You can see here. Uh, so grievous droids, obviously up top, pretty decent Padme team with a strong, uh, GK old CLS lineup with chase because I don't have a, a strong enough Chewy. Revan, Geos are always good, and uh, First Order down here, Gear 12. And then this team down here at the bottom, which is my Scoundrel team, will surprise you. 70,000, not a lot of seven stars, really only one, and not a lot of power there. You might look at that and say, what is that going to do? It'll blow your mind what that thing will do. I've killed some crazy teams with that lineup. So I want to try to save Grievous and Padme for the back, just in case. How many squads are back there? I forget. 
just two. So I can pretty much guarantee pretty much. Now, if there's a, a really strong Darth Revan team back there with a Malak, we're in serious trouble. We're not going to clear that with what I have, because the only thing I have that can clear that is gas. And uh, he's on defense. So uh, if a Malak is on defense for the other team, that's usually where I run into some trouble personally. All right, so let's get in here. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we just kill these guys with Geos because the Geos are going to, they're just overwhelming. And uh, let's have some fun here. We got to kill this Kylo first. Stay on him. Get all those assists in there. Let's call the Brute. He's already there, I guess, but let's call Brood. I mean, they're, they're all attacking, though. You know, you know how Geos go. If you watch the free-to-play count, you know we're always talking about Geos. This is not going to be that big of a deal. Once we get through this Kylo, we're going to breeze through the other guys. I might even put it on auto here and just talk to you guys about the weather or something. Let's go over that ex uh, Executioner. Almost said Executioner. There you go. One hit him. Let's take out this Kylo. Boom, you're out. There's my spy doing some work. Foo! Back there, the First Order Officer. We killed Phasma on a counterattack. And this guy's going to go. And the Geos... We're going to give us a nice 60 banners there because they're constantly regenerating that protection. And um, if you need any more proof of why you should get Geos, uh, you know, that's why I preach it so much on my main account, on the free to play account, that is. I think that kind of speaks for itself. All right, this uh, raid team here is an 82. I don't fight a lot of raid, raid teams. I'm not sure exactly what to do here. Now, what I, another strategy tip for you guys out there. Clear this territory first, if you can because you don't know what's hiding back here. You know what's hiding back here is fleet. Not worried about that, but you don't know what's hiding back here. And if they're anything like me, and this really seems like they are, there's gonna be their most powerful teams are hiding back there. I can almost guarantee it, unless they just really don't have a deep roster, in which case um, that sucks. I'm thinking about using my, my uh, not gas, uh, CLS squad for these guys here. My first order and scoundrels can take out some stuff in that other one. Let's try that here. Let's try CLS. Uh, we got to get Ray down first. Right here, hit her twice. Boom, she's out. Han for the win. Scav Ray probably next. Let's get him in offense mode. Let's pound her right there. Let's get some uh, offense going here. Let's get you going right there. Boom, you're out. All right. Thankfully, for the first time I did this, I didn't have to face uh, anything too ridiculously insane. Let's go ahead and put him out. He's the tank. You're going to have to get through my, my dude there. Boom. Go again. Boom. Boom. You're out. You're out again. Don't, don't try to come back on me, BB-8. I'll show you how it's done, bro. I mean, why did I do that? Who cares? We're going to win. Let's put it on auto. Get a sip of drink here. 59. Not bad. Some people talk about, you know, wait till the very end of, of, uh, okay, Karth and Ewoks. Uh, wait till the very end of Grand Arena. You see, we still have a lot of time here, 22 hours left. Uh, wait till the very last minute. That's fine. Do that. Whatever you want. I like to get in there whenever I can. If I wait too long, I forget. That's what happened the last time I did this. There's my headband falling off. I waited so long, I forgot. I, I went to log in to do my battles, and it was like, you lost. I was like, oh, dude, come on. I would have smoked the guy, too. It made me so mad. Uh, so yeah, they didn't hide anything. Check this out. We're gonna absolutely slaughter Ewoks with scoundrels here. We're gonna we're gonna breeze through this. The only thing making me wonder is the uh, fleet. We'll see what they're hiding behind that fleet. Let's give them a quick little slam here. Boom. I don't even know what Lando does. I do really love L three. She is awesome. It might be because of her Zeta, or it might be because of something else, but she constantly revives. Look at that. There she goes. Now, if they kill her again, she's gone. Oh, they're running. They're running. They're running their uh, turn meter. We gotta get that Elder out of there. Let's not get cocky. Paplu, stop taunting on me, bro. Wicket with the damage. Gotta love L3. And my L3, uh, obviously, is not anything to write home about. And she's still a lot of fun to have in the party. Yeah, go ahead and revive. There's no one to revive, dude. 
Now these Ewoks are giving us some trouble, man. Usually doesn't take this long. The thing is, even if they kill everyone, Infus Nest is going to just absolutely ravage them. Because they Ewoks cannot kill Infus Nest. Infus Nest, by the way, one of the best tunes in the entire game. Highly recommended for everyone. We gotta get rid of this Papalu right here. Let's take him down. We got the Elder down. It's just a matter of time now. This guy's putting up some uh some serious defense though. Look at him. He's hanging in there. Get a little AoE going in there. Yeah, this uh, this video might be a little longer than normal for sure. And if we actually get some challenging opponents, let's see if we can get Tebow out here. Tebow, an interesting choice. He's usually not on the Ewok squads. Look at Lando, the worst one, getting work done. Boom, you're out. Wicket, you're gone, my friend. See you later. Chirpa, maybe we're going to save Paplu for last right here. Scoundrels. So much fun. I just I just love this team. Infus Nest, besides being one of the best characters in the game, is one of my favorite characters. I love her design. I love her in the movie Solo. I think it's just... I, I love that movie in general, but... Uh, it was just a lot of fun. Let's put it out of here. Looks like everybody's got full protection except L3. That's going to put us with 59 points if we finish that way. Which is another pretty strong one. Hopefully, if we clear everything the way we want to... We should be good uh, to get maybe about 1,900. Okay. That Karth team, 79,000 power, you're going to think, oh, it's worse than these other ones. That Karth team is the strongest team on the board right now. So let's see. With Phoenix, we can use... I'd like to go ahead and plan this out. We have Revan, First Order, Padme, and Grievous for four teams. Let's go ahead and figure it out. First, first Order, I can kill Rogue One. Padme clones, Revan Phoenix, which leaves my overwhelmingly powerful for this team, droids to take out this guy right here. Now, this team is will give you more trouble than you think. Karth Zeta's a great one. Zalbar can be notoriously difficult to handle. But they're no match for the Separatist might. Boom. 58, though. That kind of sucks. All right, we cleared that, though. That gives us a nice little points boost. All right, I said uh, we'll do first order against Rogue One here. My first order is not, you know, again, nothing to write home about, but full gear 12, it at least gets some work done. Jin can actually revive. I, I think Jin is an underrated tune, honestly. Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you she's not the best, but I think she's underrated. She revives on one of her attacks. Uh, I actually double Zeta'd her and uh, put her on defense, and she occasionally gets a hold. I double zated her before I knew uh, it was bad and stupid to do that. <laughs> but uh, I've actually gotten a lot of mileage out of that. You're stunned. Love that move from Kylo. Just insta-stun. Let's hit all you guys. K2's auto taunt can be super annoying because he taunts anytime he hits you. So when he just sits there and hits you, he's, you know... As long as, as long as, you know, it can be annoying, but as long as Chirrut's stunned over there, we're going to keep working through these guys, because Chirrut is the healer of the team. And we're going to have no issue here. Let's call Crumb for the assist. Let's kill him right here. Boom. 60 points. All right, what did I say? Padme for clones? I like that. Let's do that. That leaves Revan for Phoenix. Now the clones, we got to get rid of Rex first. Let's get that protection up. Rex has an ability, uh, it's called Aerial Advantage, I believe, and uh, there goes five sacrifice. And it basically means, uh, let's get rid of Echo next, that he, look at that hit from Ahsoka. We're not going to have a problem here at all, because they're going to have to stay on my GK. I'm not losing my train of thought here, uh, but he attacks for damage based on how many clones have, t have taken a turn, so if he uses that later in the match. It's almost guaranteed to be a one-hit kill. All right, so let's clean you up with Revan here. My relatively baby Revan team. Again, nothing to write home about. I don't have a lot that is. I plan on making my gas team something to write home about, as well as um, I'm pretty proud of my Grievous droids. 
But other than that, I do not have a ton of you know, ridiculously powerful teams. Like I said, I don't have the deepest roster in the game. Let's take Zeb out of here. Oda. Getting work done. Uh, Revan himself is actually not bad. I'll take that. Let's get that. Uh, I love, I love when, uh, good tip for Yoda. When he gets the, uh, why can't I think of the word? Foresight. When he gets foresight, meaning they can't hit him. And then you can immediately spread it to the whole team, meaning your team can't get hit. Love that. There it goes. Revan doing work. 60 again. Let's see what awaits us in the back. Is that a, it's a negotiator fleet. Okay. 341. All right. We're going to have to get serious here. So I like my Grievous team. I like the Geos up front because unfortunately I do not have Vulture Droid uh, at a, I have him, but not at a place where he's worth anything really. And I don't even have Hyena Bomber yet. So those two are really, really essential to the Grievous fleet. So what I have to do is kind of sub around it. So what I do is I put the Geo Trio up front with Houndstooth as a reinforcement. And then I just fill in the next two powerful, two most powerful ships I have, which in this case is the Silencer and Slave One. And that works for me. I usually finish the day around 50 in fleet. Um, if I had that Vulture and Hyena with my Houndstooth and Geos, I could easily finish probably top 10. Could even fight for that number one spot. Um, for those of you new to fleet that may not have fought Hans Millennium Falcon, he's a piece of work. This little thing here, outmaneuver, means you can't target him if there's other people on the map. So, that's annoying. You have to basically save him for last, and he's a really strong ship. Now, Malevolence gives such a strong boost to Separatist ships that it is, it is, uh, it is by far my favorite ship. Uh, you could argue Negotiator's better. But uh, what I love about Malevolence is it's constantly summoning Vulture Droids. So over here, you have a summon Vulture Droid right here. You just saw him take out that guy. And so you're just constantly filling the board with ships. And then when they all assist and when they all have, uh, I can't think of the word, charge, it's just, they'll just, they'll just one hit a, a Houndstooth that just came out. They'll just one hit him. Just boom, gone, erased. It looks like we're going to have no trouble here. Boom, call the assist, done. And 58, so... Kind of a sloppy ship battle, but it's a negotiator, so I will take that any way I can get it. Okay, there you go. Boom. What did we end up with? 1927, right around where I thought. Uh, obviously, right now, uh, we're not going to know if we won or lost, uh, but I feel pretty good about that. We cleaned them all in one in one hit. I'm really hoping for a gas hold back here, um, but next time we do this, I'm going to try to do this for all three rounds of Galactic. That's the word I was looking for, rounds. Uh, all three rounds of uh, Grand Arena. And I'll give you an update on how this went today. But thank you so much for joining me. I'm the Star Wars guy. Hope you enjoyed the content today. This was a blast. This was a really fun one to do. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing this more for you guys in the future. Um, just because it's fun. I can't always guarantee it's going to go as well as this, though. So don't get your hopes too high. But subscribe below for more Star Wars content every single day. I have a lot of stuff in the works that I'm working on bringing you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.